Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. And we are continuing with the topic uh, of classification two. My name is Stephen Kariongi. And uh, at this point, I would like us to construct a dichotomous key given a few specimens and then we use that key for identification. So construction of a dichotomous key. So we are given a five specimen. So we are told use the following five specimens to construct a dichotomous key and use it for identification. So we have the following specimens. Have A. So we have uh, specimen A and B. So we are given the specimens there. There are four of them. There is A, B, C, and D. And the first thing, it's not uh, a must that we must know the name of the specimen uh, by its uh, actual name. But what is important is to understand what are some of the features that we can use to identify these particular specimens. And from what we can see is that all these specimens are for leaves. They are for leaves. So in this case, when we are constructing the dichotomous key, we should look for those features in leaves that are observable first. Then we start with the ones that are more major. And then we can go down to the minor characteristics. So the first step uh, that is step 1A. Um, we can use the leaf type and uh, we can have leaf simple and 1B leaf compound. So that way we'll be able to divide the, uh, the specimens into those that have simple leaves against those that have compound leaves. And then we are using identical forms of words, leaf, 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 simple, leaf, compound. So that's how we said we used identical forms of words. The first two, A and B, are simple. So we cannot say either A or B is simple, but we have more than one. Where we said that we have more than one, we say that go to the next step. So go to two. And then for the case of compound, uh, we also have two, C and D, they are compound. So we can say go to the next step, go to three. We cannot go to two because two is for the simple leaves. So in this case, uh, in two, we'll have two A and two B. So of the two leaves that are simple, that is A and B, 
the difference that is there is in terms of the leaf margin leaf margin here in a is entire or is a smooth one but in b the leaf margin is serrated so you can say a, a leaf margin entire again you are using identical forms of words and that points at specimen a and then leaf margin serrated points at b so we have already identified a and b so we go to uh, the step that told us to go to three every step must have two contrasting characteristics 3a is for the compound and uh, we have uh, this is a compound pinnate and this is a compound bipinnate so compound pinnate and that is uh, c while b d that is is compound by pinnate and that is d so we have finished constructing our three step dichotomous key starting with the leaf type which is major simple and compound then we go to the leaf margin entire and serrated then we go to the compound leaves which one is pinnate and which one is by pinnate so after doing that, and then we can do the identification. So the identification steps, identification steps, uh, we will uh, identify the steps here and then the identity. So, to identify A, what we did, we said 1A, go to 2, then to 2, we went to 2A, we came up to A. So, we say step 1A, step 2A leads us to A. It's like a path. 1A, go to, go to 2. When you come to 2, 2A tells us to go to A. So, the step is 1A, comma, 2a and then the identity of our specimen is a then we identify b we are starting with 1a as well then go to 2 b is telling us we go to 2b so 2b uh, we are following the steps we have identity as b and then we go to C, this is a leaf compound, not leaf simple. So we start with step 1B. Step 1B tells us that go to 3. So go to 3, when you go to 3, C is a compound pinnate. So 3A, and that is the identity. Then we go to the next and the final step, that is D, 1B compound. 3b and this ends up at d so that's a an identification that we have carried out uh, for the three no for the four specimens and you say that we use with the type of the leaf then we go to the type of margin and then finally we discuss the uh, the uh, the compound, the compound uh, pinnate and the compound by pinnate. So we distinguish between a compound pinnate and a compound by pinnate leaf. So number one, is to distinguish between a compound pinnate and a compound by pinnate leaf. And then number two, draw a well-labeled diagram showing the external features of a simple leaf. So we are going to stop there 
Until next lesson, goodbye. Thank <music> you.